Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the electric Israeli and FSD. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my supporters. Follow me on X. If you're in the market to buy a Tesla car, use my referral code and support me on Patreon. Much appreciated. And today we're going to talk about uh, the Tesla supercharging now opening up to all the, virtually all the, uh, uh, legacy auto automakers. In other words, every uh, automaker in the United States that is producing electric car starting now, they can use the uh, Tesla supercharging. So now let's go back just a year ago when Ford was the first one to announce that they're going to adapt the uh, 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 North American uh, charging uh, uh, st uh, standard, NAX, uh, of Tesla. And in year one, meaning this year, 24, they're gonna use an adapter. I'm gonna tell, if you are a Ford owner, I'm gonna tell you how to get it. And uh, also uh, ne next year, producing uh, cars, uh, Ford F-150 and uh, uh, Mustang Mach-E starting 2025, they will have the plug, so we, the Tesla plug, so you will not going to need any uh, adapters. Uh, so basically, if you are a Ford owner, you go to this page, you get, uh, you just verify through your VIN number that you are a Ford owner, and you will receive it, I think, I think until March, you will receive it for free. It's a $230 value, you will receive it for free. It's a little bulky, you know, I have a, an adapter that is the other way around uh, that I use if I t t charge my Tesla in non-supercharged. I did it only once. Anyway, so you get it for free and uh, you can use the uh, Ford app or the on-screen and you go and you charge. That's it. That's simple. You can have options to see what's available. It requires adapter, doesn't require adapter, and so on and so forth. And next year, starting next year, it will be much easier. You just, you will not need an adapter. That is true for Ford, for Rivian, Lucid, if they ever survive, anybody, everybody, everybody, GM cars, everybody with no exception. First of all, it's a great victory to the Tesla a, a NAX idea. The supercharger, they're so easy to use. You don't need the apps and you don't need to press buttons. I went to uh, Electrify America. It wasn't that difficult, but you know, you need to press button. Here's, you have an app, you plug and you leave. That's it. That's all there is to it. The car recognizes you and all that. Now, if you see from this video, if you notice, uh, the uh, charge port is in the front left. So is with Rivian. So is with Chevy Bolt. Uh, which if, if you didn't notice what it is, it takes two spots, okay? Because that's the way it's designed. The, te the Tesla a charge port is in the back, in the driver's side on the back, so you have to come in reverse. So here you take two spots. Now I've seen a non-Tesla, I think it was a BMW, charging in upstate New York, okay? Uh, yeah, and she was using the dock, okay? You didn't need an adapter, there are a few of them in New York, California, and other places that you can use. Now, Tesla drivers and Tesla owners like me are extremely territorial and extremely fascist in the sense of a car, not in the sense of how to govern. And we don't like that. We do not like ICE cars taking our spots. We do not like Tesla cars charging and idling. Now you pay a fee for that. We do not like that. But we are not gonna like this. Okay, imagine if you travel and you come and there are no spots and there's a Ford or any other non-Tesla car taking two spots. That is not gonna make me happy. Now I can tell you one thing. Let me qualify, I'll tell you one thing. Last week I had to supercharge somewhere in a supercharge in Springfield, New Jersey and all the stalls were taken and I waited less than five minutes. Why? I didn't panic, no problem because the Tesla uh, superchargers, they charge so fast that cars come and go, you wait two, three, five minutes and then you're in. And there was a car behind me and then no problem. Now that's okay it's if it's a Tesla car. Now if it's a non-Tesla car and you have to wait and you have Mr. Mustang taking two spots, that ain't making you happy. Not making you happy at all. So that's what it is. Now on, on the flip side, and try to balance this all, on the flip side, uh, it is uh, going to give Tesla access to a lot of federal dollars to build many, 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 many more superchargers. Many more superchargers. I think that every gas station in America should have three, four, five 
uh, fast charging stalls for all cars to 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 be open for all Tesla cars and non Tesla cars. It's just so easy. Which let me conclude by saying this is another victory for the Tesla brand, for the Tesla idea, and for the Tesla vision. The, it, Tesla used to be mocked. The supercharger used to be ridiculed. New York Times, everybody used to make fun of them. They're so stupid. What a dumb idea. Well, now who's laughing? Now, if you are Ford owner, let me just say, I don't think you paying, I don't think Ford is making money off of this. It's just whatever, they pay, whatever Tesla supercharger charges, that's what you pay. They're not making money for now. We'll see what happens later. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy charging.